Welcome to Cameron House Marina, my name's Ruben, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is a 2019 Regal 28 Express, commissioned in September 2020 by us and sold brand new to our one single previous owner. Mediocre is not a word in the Regal dictionary, come aboard with us and you'll see exactly why this stands out. Elephants, one elephants. So uh, a far cry from the sunny skies of Florida, where these are put together. But the build quality is proudly American and the build quality is second to none. And I'm gonna say it, it's a big statement. I am slightly biased because I do have a, a 2018 Regal myself, but I think 28 foot sports cruiser wise, this is probably one of the best on the planet, if not the best. Finish wise, looks wise, and just usability wise. So that starts at the back here. We've got the uh, transom shower, blue LED courtesy lights. You can see they are abundant throughout the cabin. Then we've got this flexi teak deck on the back and then there is a toe and eye as well for water sports enthusiasts so you've got your transom gate that gives you access then we've got the seagrass snapping cockpit carpets you can take them out power wash them and it's just grp gel coat underneath fusion stereo system upgrade so we get the high quality hq sound system put in the boats you've got more speakers down below but look at the quality of the finish you've got diamond stitching there there all of your upholstery is double stitched and it still presents like new commissioned in September of 2021 single owner of which use was exclusively on fresh water so if we take a seat at the back here now that's me all the way off to the starboard side seating for four five another two up there seven and then two up at the helm now directly opposite your main socializing area you've got your wet bar so that includes your igloo cool chest then your cold water sink grab rail here as well and you've got your controls so the arch lights on the power tower radar arch then you've got bilge lights as well and then your hatch lift for the electric opening engine hatch this seat table is removable because what you can do, and I'll do it later on in the video, is you can actually move the back of the seat there. You can tilt it forwards to give you an aft facing seat, or you can move it all the way down and that turns that into a big sunbed. We've also got the power tower radar arch option on this one. So if you are, say for example, very popular in Locker and the, the waterways in Northern Ireland or canals, if you're having to go under low bridges, you can dismantle the canopy and you can press a button on the dash and that will take this power tower all the way down to just above the stainless steel windshield splitter. Storage in here, storage in the back as well, and then a big storage locker. We'll show you this one just now. The storage in there will come on to in just a moment, but look at the cup holders everywhere. Very, very functional design. You've got armrest that pops up, and then we've got sea deck caramel sea deck that blends in very very well with the cappuccino colored dash and that gives you straight access down onto the bow with the electric anchor winches you can also put up uh, your towels if you want to lie on the deck again probably not going to do that today unfortunately single volvo 300 so there is your control you do have a control for the Fusion Bluetooth stereo up here as well. Bow thruster. Horn, bilge blower, bilge pump, nav lights, cockpit lights. You've then got your wiper. Underwater lights, arch, electric windlass. And then you've got your remote controlled spotlight, which is, for those of you who are eagle eyed, you can see that stainless steel thing there just sat next to the anchor and chain. Depth finder. All of your gauges. Rev count, uh, so rev counter there, speedometer, and then engine trim too. She has run a little over 65 hours. I think it's 65.4 hours in total. And she just really, really does present exactly like new. The boat is mint condition wise. Right, I'll take a little look downstairs. So this door is obviously lockable. You then have your handrail and you're three steps down into the gorgeous saloon. Now, when we did specify this from build, we went with the light textiles option. So we've gone for cream ultra leather. We've then went for American oak joinery, and then we've got all the high quality worktops as well. So straight away on the starboard side, we've got your galley. You then have a rounded, very large U-shaped saloon. Heads is in here, 
And then if I peek behind us, we have the accommodation, the double berth, and that is near enough full beam, just slightly off because of the shelvage at the back, but near enough there. So let's start with the galley. Plug socket, great. We've got microwave oven, flat screen television, which is aptly just opposite the saloon area. Then we have our electric galley hob. We've got stainless steel sink. Now look at the condition of that. It looks as if it has never been used. It really is as brand new as Prion gets this. Uh, we've then fridge slash freezer compartment down there. Now remember, that one is probably for food and then drinks. You're probably going to have them up there, let's be honest, in the cool chest. Storage-wise, we've got a storage bin in there too. Master switchboard is here. And then more storage underneath. Television remote there. Place for your cutlery and your glasses. Now watch how you have the mood lighting that comes down from underneath the eaves on both sides of these panoramic windows. Up against the headboard or the bulkhead, you've got a mirror, then two more fusion speakers, the main master fusion control. It lives down there. You've got another socket also as well. Now, as far as bilges go, this is probably as clean as you're ever going to find. Nice and dry, no evidence of water ingress. That is the bow thruster terminal there. And that is all testament to Regal's build quality. Very, very supple leather. Now, if I get up round the back it's just always nice to see something from a different angle you've got your escape hatch here you've then got both of your ventilation hatches good luck getting out of those in an emergency um and then you've got curtains that you can pull across to completely sort of shut off this area and there are blinds for these two to black them out close peg there we have got loads of storage underneath this the table will actually stow directly underneath this section you can see where it's cut out i'll show you that in a moment but I think first and foremost, what we need to do is we need to pop this down, turn this into its berth. And there you have your bulkhead to bulkhead, window to window, full beam, forward, double berth. Now it is very long as well. Close away your curtains. You also have the aft curtain at the back there, which you can pull along to seal this area off so everyone has privacy. What we'll do next, we'll get this all up and I'll show you the storage areas that you have underneath these three lockers here. Perfect, so port side, you've got a big locker there. Starboard, we've kept all the blackout blinds for the escape hatches in there. And then at forward, remember I said these are very well designed and put together. So your dinette table goes there, but it's not shallow like a politician. You can actually lift this up and that reveals you've got that big storage locker under there rather than this. Well, that would be pretty useless if it was just that and nothing else. We can then just drop that back down again. We move back, we click our finger once. And that is her back in her dinette conversion so underneath the steps we do have the main double berth area you can see up at the back there we've also got shelf storage and look how wide sorry how deep those shelves are just behind that is the bulkhead you do have your curtain dual curtain so one side two side there to close that across this is probably where the master or where the owners will sleep because there is less rock because it's in the center of the boat you don't get as much wave slap you then got an opening porthole there Chrome is still very, very nice on that. Now that leads us on to the heads. Now look at the upholstery here. It is all textured, very, very high quality. That sort of ripstop material. If we look in the heads now, it's an electric quiet flush sea toilet. You can see the sink, sorry, that the floor is recessed there for drainage because it's a wet head. Now, rather than typically have to pull out the shower faucet from the tap, you can see you have your dedicated shower head there and then just up the back there, you've got a dedicated shower control, regal embossed towel, and then the storage there. Also more storage there as well. But a good sized heads that for a 28 foot cruiser. There is a waste tank fitted as well. Now, let us finish up. I wanna show you some things at the back of the boat. We'll whip the canopies off, and I'll show you this configuration here and the engine. Another big storage locker at the back here underneath the aft bench. Now, when we put that down, you can see and the sun's come out to play. It is a day bed. That is it in the maximal reclined position. There is a lever underneath here that says pull. So you pull that, you can nudge just forward. That then turns it into your aft bench. And then one more push again, just resets it to its original social his and hers facing positions. Now we've got as well storage wise underneath here another great big locker 
So that is four, one, two, three, three underneath here, and then four is in the engine bay, which we are just going to show you now. So it is an electric hatch lift. That is the strut for it there. Now this storage locker is perfect for ropes and fenders because there's a drain in it. And then we have the V8 300 horsepower Volvo Penta petrol engine. We've got over to this side, fresh water tank, then your calorifier, your heating water heater on that side. Now, because this is, well, it was only commissioned in September 2020, it still has manufacturer's warranty on it. So you've got a year and a little over three months left warranty wise outstanding on the engine. You've got LED strip lighting on both sides. So if you are down here in the dark or in low light conditions, well, you can see absolutely everything, but it is a very nice and easy engine to work on and very clean as well. Look at that. So undoubtedly, they are head turners no matter where they go. Build quality, phenomenal, finish, phenomenal, and the styling on it is again, just absolutely wonderful. I'm Ruben from Marine Seal Scotland, where fun in the water begins.